Hello everyone, it's Sandra from The Funky Pickle. Welcome. Today I thought we could take some verdigris off of an old brooch I have. Here's what we're going to try to do. So you can see all that gunky green stuff. Let me try to... Here's a nice close-up of it. See it? It's yucky. So this stuff is really bad to keep on your jewelry because it is contagious and it will spread to your other pieces. It's kind of like when you have an apple in a bunch. One bad apple does spoil the whole barrel, by the way. Donny Osmond lied to us. Anyhow, so I'll show you what we're going to need today. So first of all, I'm going to use an old toothbrush. I'm always paranoid someone's going to stay at our house as a guest and forget their toothbrush and reach underneath the sink and grab the soys. Make sure I put do not use on it. And I have some lukewarm soapy water. I have some clear water. Now we're going to use some vinegar. So I just got some cheap vinegar. I'm going to put this in here. Okay, great. So the first thing I'm going to do is put this toothbrush in a little bit of the soapy water. I use Dawn. And I'm going to take this and get some of that moisture off. I don't want it to be too wet. So let's just see if we start to gently rub, just nice and gently, try to take some off. Okay. So I want to point out that this particular brooch has open back stones. They don't have foil backs, right? Because foil back stones, you never want to get moisture on them because it discolors them. So we're pretty safe to just use this. Make it a little bit wetter here. And then just dip it in here for a second. Get some of this soap off. I'm going to blot it off on my towel. Let's have a look and see if this helped at all. Let me try to clip, like do it a little bit more close up. I do still see some green in there. So let's, let me just rinse off my toothbrush here, get some of the soap off. I'm going to blot it out, get some of the water off there. I'm going to just dip into my vinegar. So I'm just going to keep lightly scrubbing in here. It's getting much better. Okay. So I can see a lot of that is coming off. This is looking great. Okay, I'll dip it in. I'll make the toothbrush a little bit wetter. And I think we are looking pretty good at this point. Do you see any more? Maybe a little bit right there in between where the, it's hard for the toothbrush to go. Let's rinse it off and take a look. So a lot of times I wouldn't recommend soaking it, but in this case it actually could be soaked because these are just glass stones. You're not going to hurt anything. They don't have foil backs. So that is quite an improvement, but I want to even try to get every single bit of it out of there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it face down in this vinegar and I'm going to let it set for a bit. We're going to come right back. I'm going to let this set for five minutes and we'll see if we can get that last little bit out of there. Okay, so some time has passed. Let's do a little, a little more scrubbing with our toothbrush. You can also use a toothpick to get into some of these little areas or a Q-tip or whatever you think you can get it out of there with. All right, so we're going to give this a dip in the soapy water. We'll get this vinegar off. We'll give it a little bit of a scrub. Okay, let's rinse it off in the clean water here. Get the soap off. Move these out of the way. Let's dry it off with our towel. All right, let's have a look. 
that looks really great. So before it was all caked on, it was all gross. And now I think this looks fantastic. So I'll probably have a closer look at this with a loop and really make sure that everything's out of there. If not, I can repeat what I just did, but I'll probably just take a toothpick and just get out the, a couple more little pieces that might be here or there. And then we have one last step that I wanna share with you before we're done. So we wanna make sure we use our blow dryer always because there might be some moisture left over in between here. So dry it off really well. Now that just looks beautiful, doesn't it? Do you see the difference? Check that out. That is fantastic. This is so pretty. I love these, these the green color and that's this, the white milk glass, just glass. Something to always think about is when you're cleaning old jewelry, this metal isn't shiny like this. It's likely just a pop metal or a base metal. And then they put this shiny coating over it. And uh, there's some great evidence of it. You see that little bubble right there? That's not because it's wet. That is part of the coating. So it is always a risk that your soap or your vinegar might take off some of this coating. So you always have to proceed with caution, right? This was something I paid 25 cents for or 50 cents or a dollar. So I wasn't really gonna sweat this one and it looked like it was gonna be able to withstand the cleaning, which it did. But when you're cleaning your own piece, just proceed with caution. So let's try a trickier one. So these have faux pearls, and this is gonna be a little trickier. Let's make sure we can see. Yeah, you can see the verdigris there, it's in there. It's not everywhere. All right, so these are closed back, so we're just gonna be a little bit gentler with this one. This is a very interesting piece too, isn't it? I have some new water here that I put a little bit of Dawn in. Just get make sure I have a, enough soap. So I'm gonna take my toothbrush, my dedicated old toothbrush to jewelry cleaning, get some of the water out here, and we're gonna to start to gently work. We're especially gonna make sure that we're working. Let me go a little bit closer for you. We're gonna make sure we try to aim our toothbrush really where, that, where the problem is, not so much on the stones, but on the metal where it is. So that seems to be holding up so far see any damage happening okay so we might be able to get some of it off Don't see any over there okay there is some it's really around this stone mostly just try to get some of this off okay so let me just wipe some of that soap off I'm gonna rinse off my toothbrush this one I don't want to submerge I don't want to submerge this piece so I'm gonna blot my toothbrush so it's just a little bit damp. Let's try to get some of that soap out of there. Okay. And where is it? I see it around that one stone. Do we see it anywhere else? I guess it's a little bit on the edge here too. Okay. Gentle, gentle. Maybe I can get it from the back too, just a touch. Okay. So I have a nice dry cotton swab here. Let me just try to get some of this out of here. Working that out. So it does look better so far, but there is still a little bit in there. See just a little bit of green? It's better than it was. So let's go, oops, blot it out. And then I have some, put my toothbrush in the vinegar, blot it out, don't want it to get too, too wet. Sorry, I think I'm too zoomed in here. Let me do this, okay. So I have some vinegar, I'll put a little more, I'll do it again. Vinegar, blot it out. We just want like a lightly damp toothbrush. And get some of that vinegar in there. Yeah, that is coming right off, that's pretty nice. Okay, 
and there's a little bit over here too. Just try to get that out of there. Okay. All right, so let, let it sit here for a little while with the vinegar on it and we will be back. All right, so I gave that about five minutes to work its magic. Take our toothbrush, let me rinse the vinegar off and if there's any remaining soap in there, which there is, let's get this all off of there. Blot this out so that it's only slightly damp. And let me get in there now and try to remove that vinegar here. It's mostly around that stone and it is, where else? So you can see this is so much better. Let me just get that. Try to do it again. Just working it slowly and gently with this toothbrush. So that is much, much better than it was. I can't really see green anymore. There might be a little bit, so I am gonna put my loop on later. Yeah, it was here. So look at how much better that looks. All right, so what I'm going to do is, let me just make sure, I really wanna make sure I get this vinegar off of here. So I'll do it again with a clean, slightly damp toothbrush. I'm gonna to towel it off a little bit here. Just rub this off. That looks pretty good, look at that, what a difference. Now I'm gonna dry it with the blow dryer. We'll make sure we get all that dampness out. Move this out of the way. Let's take our blow dryer. dry this off. All right, so let's take a look at the two pieces we did today. This one was very fragile. This one was difficult. We had to be careful. We didn't want to submerge the piece, but there was lots of verdigris around there. Maybe there's just a touch left. I see just a hint of it in there. I'm going to need a toothpick to get that out, which I will do, but this piece looks so much better than it did, and there was also a little bit right there that we took care of. So that looks much, much better. And here's the other pin we did today. This one was much easier to do because we did submerge it, we let it soak, and this just is, is in beautiful condition now. We dried both of our pieces with a hair dryer. So that's how to remove verdigris from your jewelry. It's very important, it is a little bit risky, so please proceed with caution. Well, thank you so much for coming to my channel today, everybody. I hope you like this video. If you wanna see more videos like this one, please give me the thumbs up, leave a comment, hit subscribe, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you so much.